check this view out. Awesome, awesome view. Mm. Guess what arrived? Snorkel, baby. It's gonna be sick. You gotta figure out how to exactly mount it, but it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, we're gonna unbox this thing. Figured I'd have you be a part of it. You know, you're along this journey of this build. So why not join me for the unboxing? So I was told that this would actually fit. It is actually for a, um, uh, a Jeep XJ. And I was told that these should fit minus like one bolt. So you only gotta make like very minor modifications. So we'll see how true that is. All right, flex hose. That'll be nice. Here it is. All right. Ooh. There it is. All right, and there's the top piece. So. Hopefully this works as well as it should. Now, we are gonna find out if this is gonna work. I'm hoping so. It's a beautiful night. It is, what time is it? 9.30, we're gonna see if it lines up, what we can do, and because I'm gonna have to do this piece by piece probably over the next couple of days, so. Hopefully we can get somewhere tonight and figure out, get to a stopping point, figure out what needs to happen. <clears throat> All right, so I modified the uh, template just slightly because it doesn't obviously work with a ridge line. So I just cut off the edges, excuse me, I just cut off the edges that weren't really lining up. And basically what I did is I took this and I just held it up here, kind of figured out the distance that I wanted to uh, get and where, where I wanted the lean and all of that. And then I marked a hole here, um, just from the closest hole, I just made a mark on the fender, um, just a little dust mark. And then I lined up the top here of the template all the way across. And this is the center of the intake hole, this thing, right? So it doesn't have any other instructions. <laughs> Just a template. So, point and shoot, right? Um, but that's gonna be the center of it, so I need to take out a hole here. But this will be, obviously, for the bolts. And then everything should line up. And I made it to where I won't have to drill into this. Um, so it's spaced out just a little bit. Um, I, don't, I don't think it needs to. It's pretty dang sturdy. I don't see why it would need to be drilled into that. Okay, so before I start cutting this right here, what I want to do is I want to uh, make sure everything's going to kind of line up and work at least a little bit. So I came in here and started dismantling the, uh, started, I started dismantling the airbox. So looking at it, obviously you got to take off this part that goes to it, um, air filter. There's a couple screws. This one I broke a while back. It just, I tightened it too tight apparently and it broke. Um, but uh, there's a screw here, screw there, screw back here, and this one. So if you'll have four to take the top of the box off. Then there is this one right here. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. 
And then there's one back here under this, right down there, 10 millimeter bolt. And then this thing will actually just pop right out. Hopefully yours isn't as dirty, or hopefully it is, right? So now I gotta figure out where the interior of the hose is gonna connect. If it's gonna come up from the bottom, like the current manufacturing or manufacturer snorkel, or um, if I'm gonna try to do something else with it. So um, stay tuned. Something I forgot to mention real quick is how to get these off. So there's actually, it's very simple. So this just has a few ri uh, plastic rivets in it, right? Those pop rivets go in there. And then there's a, like a Christmas tree rivet in this one. Um, this one right here goes in this bottom one right here. So it just slides in there. Real simple. And there's only one bolt for, there's only one bolt for this bad boy, or two, excuse me, um, right here. It's going to go into right here. And then this top one right here goes in to the hole right, right down there. And they're just 10 millimeter. Sorry, I misspoke. It's not this one for, for this uh, snorkel piece. It's down in this corner. So 10 mil here will be 10 mil there for this piece right here. And that's it. Okay, so I think I figured out how to do this. So this is the second day. <laughs> um, it was getting too late. I couldn't figure it out yesterday. I've been trying a whole bunch of different arrangements with the stock um, intake and I've been trying, like I tried to feed it under the inside of the wheel well um, or engine bay into the wheel well just so I didn't have to mess with um, any of the stock stuff and tried to make it as stock as possible. It's not gonna happen. So what I did was I actually took out the bottom, uh, the bottom of the air box Okay, and I took the piece like this and I cut that off. Okay, so I, I just grinded that out so I could get full coverage on it. And then I'm going to take this piece, the leftover piece, and I'm actually going to block off the slight opening. Let me show you. If you line these up right here from the stock pieces, you just line that corner. It actually is almost perfectly 90 degrees. So with that, there's a slight gap right here. Obviously, that wouldn't help anything. So you take this piece, and we're just going to go like that. And that'll block it off perfectly. So just silicone the crap out of that, because it doesn't have to look pretty. It just has to seal it. That's the thing, is you don't need it to be perfect. But if you grind it down, this one like came with it ground a little bit uneven. But that'll be really good. Silicone will fill that in perfectly. So I got to wash this off and then scrub it and sand it. And then I'll silicone it. Now when I do that, then I'll go outside and, and the inside of the fender, I'm going to drill a hole for this. Once I drill a hole for it, then it should just feed right into it. Obviously, I'll measure it, do all those. But once, once I have the hole cut... It's, it really is a plug and play with this thing because it, it's, the stencil's already, like I already have the stencil lined up. I know where to cut the fender in the, on the truck and it's just a flex hose that's gonna come from this and it's just basically gonna come out and then up to that, uh, the snorkel. So it, it's actually gonna be very, very simple to connect once this is made. This has been the biggest difficulty is figuring out exactly how to connect this without damaging any of the stock parts if I ever want to go back. Like if I ever want to take this off, I'd have to just cut the silicone and just sand it off or whatever and put it back together stock. Um, so this is, this is the most effective way that I've found that as long as it seals, will work um, right up into the, the snorkel, which if it works, it'll be fantastic. Okay, so I got this all sanded down, got the edge 
air box and that piece, essentially, I'm just gonna put it on there like so. And then I did grind that flat. I did scoot it this way just slightly, but there's still coverage on everything. So I'm gonna put a bead on that and get that done. Okay, so I got the bead. I actually put the bead around that because I want to make sure that seals. Um, and then I put the bead on that edge. I'm going to actually put a bead around this whole thing and make it look a little bit better. But even here, where it was a little bit um, up, fill that in a little bit better, but... Looks like it's going to get a nice seal in there, which is exactly what we need. I think this will work out quite well, actually. Okay, so I got that. So I sanded it with 80 grit, then I washed it with Dawn Dish Soap um, and water. Dried it off. Air, I blew it with the air compressor. And then I just took that silicone and my finger and just went across all of it. Okay. And it turned out pretty pretty clean actually um, like I said it doesn't need to be real pretty I don't think it looks too bad but got that hole covered over here and there doesn't seem to be any bubbles anywhere this was a little bit hard to get because I I went up into it tried to get some silicone in that gap even though it will be sealed but it just has some extra protection there um, Yeah, it doesn't look like there's going to be any gaps, which is going to be real nice. That sealed up real good, and yeah, we'll see how she holds once she dries. As long as it doesn't leak, then it works, right? And it, realistically for me, I mean, for what I'm going to be doing, as long as it doesn't just leak like crazy, if there's like a little bit of water that kind of gets in there, it's not going to, I mean, it has to pull it up, right? So it's not going to do a lot. Um, if there's just a little bit of, if there's just a little bit of air, uh, water that gets in there, um, it's going to have to get pulled up from the bottom because that's where this is. It comes up from the bottom, uh, and then has to go through the filter and then to the engine. So if there's a couple drops that get in there, I'm not real concerned about it because I'm not going to be driving through four or five feet of water for any length of amount of time. The biggest reason I want this, because a Ridgeline actually comes with a stock snorkel-ish, um, but it's actually, the intake is actually mounted on top of the radiator. So uh, where most trucks and vehicles are mounted in like the fender or something that's like lower, um, this is actually on top of the radiator. So the only reason I'm really even getting a snorkel though is because I was crossing Jim Creek here in Alaska um, a little bit ago and I actually went into a little bit of a hole that was there and my hood actually went under the water. Um, although, I mean, it didn't do anything. Like I still was able to get out and everything, but it, it, the hood did dip into the water. And so if there was any length of amount of time that I actually needed to have air and, and all of those things to the vehicle, um, to the intake, that wouldn't have worked if it would have been any longer than just like a quick dip. Um, but in a normal vehicle though, that would have actually swamped the truck. So again, props to the Ridgeline uh, for having that snorkel on the radiator, but this will give it a little bit extra. So even going into a dip, if it's just a little bit longer and has to come out, it shouldn't be affected. So that's the biggest reason I'm getting a snorkel and Besides, looks way good, and when it's going, when it's getting dusty like crazy out on Jim Creek or on a trail behind somebody, you know, I mean, it's always good to be a little higher, a little bit cleaner air. So, I think this will be a great addition to it, and it'll look good. I'm real excited. I'm glad I was able to figure this out. So now it's time to go cut the fender and and uh, see if we can get this thing mounted. Just want to make sure you guys knew this is the kind of silicone I used. Just some Ultimate Black RTV silicone. That's it. Okay, I had to make a little adjustment to the intake box. It started coming apart, just hadn't cured enough, so 
screwed it on there pretty good and resealed it it's it is gonna stay so um, that is very sturdy I'm excited we're gonna throw this on here then connect the tube everything should be working as before so we'll give it a shot okay so with this uh, snorkel you get you are given studs for this piece and you just drive them in they have an allen key on the top and you just put them all the way in this one's only hand tight right now but essentially you're going to put them all the way in and then they have lock nuts and washers that you're going to put on uh, on the inside of the fender when you stick this through so have it all laid out have it drawn just got to pull that off drill those holes and then should be good to go so check this out i love working here this is my best life i'm telling you because guess what i just got offered an opportunity to go fly back to the hangar in the chopper back to the chopper <laughs> sick it's gonna be dope <laughs> it's only a couple minutes but why not That's nuts. Okay, back from a helicopter ride. <laughs> Had a short intermission. Um, I was offered a ride, so why not, right? I posted it on YouTube, or YouTube on Facebook and Instagram, so follow me there. You'll see stuff like that. Um, but I drilled. I drilled some pilot holes, so now it is time. We are committed at this point, so let's hope it works. Okay, all right four holes drilled now i just need to uh make that circle and cut that out and then should be mounted up pretty easy we'll find out it's gonna fit boom baby it's gonna work so the thing is now so with this i'll show you so right here as you fit this in i haven't tidied this up at all yet so this is going to come out all smooth i'm going to end up painting it a little bit obviously so it doesn't rust um but this inner piece of the fender you actually got to bend that in a little bit um so that little crease right there i pushed in so that the bottom of it could fit it was ju it just wasn't able to sit back far enough um just have to now clean it up you know mount it and all that but that fender you do have to push out or push in the inner fender part this is how she how she fits in here. Just like that. And then just come in. See here. Oh, there we go. Line up the holes. That's where she's at right now. Now once it's mounted properly, I'm probably gonna have to put that bracket on there just to hold that out. But once that's held out, it actually looks real good. Looks real decent. See if uh, it'll stay. So that's essentially the way it looks if I don't use that bracket, which it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, you can just tell it's not quite at the right angle and it will hit slightly once it's bolted up all the way. Oh, well, maybe it won't. Oh, actually that's like, man, I don't think you get any better than that. Oh, that's because it's not quite all. There we go. Okay, so yeah, it would hit just a little bit. Um, so I have to figure that out a little. Other than that, though, champ. Works great. I am excited. Okay, so check this out. 
it worked. <laughs> okay, so I got the base of this air filter in um, for the snorkel. It's gonna be sick, I think. I'm really excited, as you can tell, but I'll show you what I did. Check this out. So right here, so you know, I'm siliconed all this. I didn't do the inside really that that well. Um, I might come back in here and redo that, but I mean, I did get that gap in there and those two pieces. Um, haven't decided if I'm gonna do that yet because it seems like it's got a good bead and a good seal on the other side. But that's how it is right here. Sits in stock, it's not tightened down, but it is essentially the stock base plate. This is what I did. I just cut this inside. All I did was measure from the bolt, okay? So so let me go over that with you real quick. So looking at the air box, what I did when it was off of the vehicle is I took this bolt hole and measured this direction. For this vehicle, it was four, uh, four inches over, okay? And then down, I measured from that bolt down and kind of eyeballed the center of the hole, um, center of the hose. It was gonna, it was four and a half inches down. I believe that's what they were. Obviously, measure for your own. Um, that being said, I wish, I kind of wish I would have flipped these two pieces here and put this plate on this side and just moved everything over because it would have given a little bit more space on on the wheel well. Uh, but that's okay. Either way, um, and your inner fender should fit if you haven't cut your fenders like I did. So all I did was is I measured from the inside and I marked it, figured out that there's a little bend in the um, wheel well, basically where it was, and I just cut a square off, as you can see, um, where this goes, and it lined up almost perfect. So uh, I just took an angle grinder, ground that. I could have made it a little bit smaller, obviously, um, but it is what it is. I had to push this in just slightly because my battery was bumping into this to be able to put it in place. So I just had to push this in a little bit, not much, maybe quarter inch or so, so that I could get that to go in there and sink. So I'm totally pumped. Uh, gotta get the um, these pieces of metal that I cut. Excuse me, I gotta get those uh, painted or covered with some kind of sealant, you know. Um, and then bolt this all together. I'm pumped up, I'm excited, because this will be a functional snorkel for a Honda Ridgeline. Like, so awesome. Uh, yeah, it'll be good. More to come. Check this out. Just got this mounted. So it obviously is not the exact right angle. You know, honestly, I'm okay with that. Because I know it's not made for this. But this right here, I'm going to have to get figure out how to mount this um not sure exactly how that's going to work out because it does hit and i know vibrating would be not good for anything over here and it'd be very annoying so i just got to figure out how to mount this better so other than that though everything fits quite well and then It'll be connected right under here. Essentially, it's just gonna go like that. So I'm gonna hook that up next. Pretty legit. Oh, and <clears throat> right here, if you look under, those are the bolts right there. So you take out your inner fender, you'll be able to reach it right over there. I'll show you from the other side. Where I had those top bolts placed, it's right here. You can actually reach it from inside right there and then right over there from where I have it placed. So I just put a socket on there and on this one, just right here. And then came from the bottom section on inside the fender for the bottom two. Took it back off, but we marked where the bracket's gonna go. Now, had to pull on a little bit, so uh, hopefully over time the snorkel will kind of mold to the bracket. But this is essentially what we did because the bracket wasn't, as you can see in the video, wasn't quite, or the bracket, the, uh, um, the tube that ran up the windshield wasn't quite in line with the windshield. So just bending it a little bit will actually uh, 
um, or just pulling it down a little bit will actually mold it to the windshield, which will make it look real good. But this is what we did essentially. So after, after mounting it, so I mounted it and then it was running up to where the bracket wouldn't really work because like I was gonna have to like try to bend the bracket or make a new bracket or something because the the tube was running kind of uh, kind of like this angle so we just we just got on top of it and pulled it down and you could tell it was flexing a little bit but it wasn't actually very it wasn't very bad um, it was a lot less stress than I thought it would be so we marked it up to where this can get mounted right here so we just and I say we, me and my dad. Um, so that's essentially where it's gonna be. So I'm just gotta mark these holes, drill those out and rivet this in. And then we're ready to like fully mount this whole thing, which I'm totally pumped about. I'm actually surprised that it's working this well, but it is. So I'm rolling with it. And I really think we are gonna get this done today. And then I'll get this video edited out to you guys. <laughs> it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna look good. It's gonna perform well and It'll, everything about it is just gonna be excellent. <laughs> All right, got those holes marked. Time to cut it, or drill it, I guess. Not too shabby, doesn't look too bad. So now, we're gonna bolt it on and see how it lines up. This is how much I'm gonna be bending it right here. So, just like that. And then we bolt it in, and it should be good to go. Check it out, man. This is actually pretty slick. All right, now I just gotta connect the tube on the bottom. Put the top on, put the airbags, airbags, put the air box back together, and she'll be ready to fire up. Just want to show you how solid this is. Like, I mean that that is not going anywhere. Fantastic, it worked great. Oh, okay, we ran into just a slight issue right here. This inner fender, sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. This inner fender piece right here. Is actually hitting this or, or not giving enough room for this to go so we're just gonna grab a pry bar and kind of pull on that a little bit while we slide this on and then everything should be golden check this out everything is completed nice and clean and this is what it looks like under so it just connects right here and right up there Worked perfectly. Honda Ridgeline with a snorkel. 33s, three inch lift, suspension is coming. Man, that looks good. Now it's time to shut the hood so you really see. There it is. Man, that looks good. That looks good. All right. Like, share, subscribe. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you on the next one of Over the Ridge Line.